Hey loves, it's your very blind chick back on your screen with another one. We're in the kitchen this morning because I'm going to show you how I make my matcha. It's always a matcha moment over here. It's great if you need that caffeine kick without the crash. Not only that, if you need to boost your mind, your mood, or your metabolism, it's good for that too. So come closer. I'm going to show you this whole ritual. Can't lie, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it because it's good to the last drop. This is high grade matcha. This is not so high grade matcha. This is the highest grade matcha I own. You can see that it clumps a lot and I wish you could smell it because it's so fragrant. Sip so it's easier to whisk. There we go. That should be more than enough. Have enough foam to make this extra frothy. Woo! Look at that. Perfection. Now I've been making matcha for five years, so I feel like I've got it down to a well mess. <laughs> when I'm not making a mess, it feels like a whole ritual to me. Sorry guys, I'm a whole clean freak. I can't, I can't not clean as I go. Anywho. So this is what we got. This is what we're working with. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Mmm, nothing like a matcha moment. It's something about the flavor of matcha with the smoothness of the foam. It just does it for me. It's so creamy, so good. I love it. I hope that you enjoyed this too. If you did, let me know by tapping the like button. Let me know if you like matcha as well or what your favorite tea is. If you haven't already, subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed, stay sane, stay safe. Love and later. If it's not hot, I got all the lyrics wrong. Anybody think that I will too? You don't have to call as much as you do. Okay, this is annoying me.